doing today? <laughs> I delayed the stream once again, but but I had a reason. I had a reason this time. <laughs> I'm not so late today. <laughs> I don't know if you if you know it, but today is the last day of of Juna's Jonathan. So yeah, I just came to say hi to her. And now I'm I now I am with you. How you doing? I'm doing good. I just I just had fish soup that my grandma made. Yeah, that that one someone had fish soup. It was good. It was good. Okay, the music is not too loud, right? Is it good? Last day of winter in Russia, that's true! Today is the last day of February. Yeah, tomorrow's March already. Uha, uh -huh, yes! That, su that, that soup is called Uha uh -huh in Russia, yes. Notorious, glad to see you're playing my all-time favorite game, Dido. Love this series. Thank you for the super chat. I I hear it. I hear it. Cool stuff about this game, and I'm hyped to play it. I hear that it's a bit similar to Danganronpa, and I absolutely love Danganronpa. So this this has to be fun. I am very excited to play it as well. I'm very excited. <laughs> Ohio soup, not Ohio soup. Uha, not Ohio. <laughs> Time to experience the great game trilogy together with Rito. Hope you'll like it, Rito Chan. I'm sure we'll like it. Thank you, Fungus, for the tip. Take that. Have fun playing the game. Thank you, Alilanda, for the super chat. Yes, definitely. This this game this game is promising. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm ready. I am. I think I'm ready. I will just move the camera a little bit. Okay. Nice! Put Mr. Min in jail today. It's not necessary. As long as he can speak, he can hurt anybody. Like, he can't walk. He can't really move a lot. <laughs> he can only speak and now he's not allowed, so... So yeah, he's basically in jail. He's always in jail. <laughs> this game is legendary. Ugh! You're making me even more hyped. Okay, new game. Let's go. I've been hearing this this music for for 30 minutes already because I was setting up the stream. <laughs> Play this game. What? Oh, okay. We have Sure, this is the trilogy. We start with this one, right? This is the first one. We start with this one? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Episode 1, the first turnabout. Okay. Let's go. Hello from Russia, dude. I hope you like it again. Thank ya! Thinking too much. Head bleeding. Damn it! Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this! I've got to find someone to pin this on! Someone like... HIM! I'll make it look like... HE DID IT! August 3, 9 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Cyber, thank you for the tip. <laughs> he said guilty for being too cute. Ah, this is embarrassing to translate. Okay, Phoenix. Boy, am I nervous? Right. Booba. Oh, hey, yeah, chef. Chef, chef. <laughs> it's not chef, right? Chef, chef. <laughs> It's not Chef, right? <laughs> chef! Phew, I'm glad I made it on time! Chief! It's Chief! Okay. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed! Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you. 
And you're quiet as well. I think we, this voice doesn't fit him. Should I... Eh, not him, her. Should I make a more fitting voice for the characters? Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean, you knew the defendant before this case? <laughs> yes. Actually, I kind of owe the current job to him. He's one of the reasons I've become an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I oh, know, fuck, it was the Phoenix. I want to help him out any way I can. <laughs> I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over! My life! Everything! It's all over! Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death! Despair! Oh, Danganronpa references are ready. I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. <gasps> Nick! Hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty! Tell them I'm guilty! Give me the death sentence! I ain't afraid to die! Oh my god, he's so fucking dramatic! What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over! I... I finished! Finished! I can't play with the word without her! I can't! Who... Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Ah, Nick! You're going to tell me! Who took my baby away? Hmm... The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspaper say it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. <laughs> Does that voice fit him? What do you think? <laughs> a young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the luckiest update in her. No. <laughs> Please voice normal! Ah, okay! What, what should be his fitting voice? Okay. Larry Butts, my best friend since grade school. <laughs> a, a perfect Phoenix impression. <laughs> okay. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> okay, this is... <laughs> This is you, the puns you were talking about? In the 23 years I've been known him, I've, bleh, I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. Poor boy. One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault. He's, he just has terrible luck. Oh, just like me in Genshin. But I know better than anyone. That he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one. Which is why I took the case to clear his name. To clear Butt's name. <laughs> and, and that's just what I'm going to do. Okay. We're gonna clear Butt's today. Go trim number two. Pop! Court is now in session with the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The um defense is ready, Your Honor. Ahem, Mr. Wright. This is your first trial, is it not? Y yes, Your Honor. I'm uh, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. Charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. <sighs> Poor Phoenix. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. 
and shaken, I sighed, failing. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Oh fuck! Already hard questions, defendant. It's me, right? Um, the defendant is me, right? Right? Fuck! <laughs> How you completely lost your mind? Fuck it! I'm sorry. I never been in a trial. I don't know how it works. The defendant is the person on trial. Okay, okay, fine. You're his lawyer. Fine. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> um, uh, uh, oh yeah. I was just joking. <laughs> this is not laughing match. <laughs> <laughs> you did pass the bar, didn't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear your answer. I'll ask once more. Please say the name of the defendant in this case. Uh, Larry Butts, I guess. I saw it in the chat, it must be true. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Oh, this one is easy. I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... Wait. Uh... No. No way. I forgot. I'm trying to... Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? I know, I know! It's Butts! Larry Butts, right? Oh, the victim. Of course I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. <laughs> Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. <laughs> Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to check it anytime, okay? Ah, no! The victim! The victim wasn't Butts! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, the victim is them. The victim was the woman, okay. <laughs> I am worse than Phoenix, I'm sorry, okay. Uh, what's her name though? Profiles? Ah, ma- no, this is not. This is her, okay. Cindy Stone, age 22. Okay, Sydney, Cindy, Cindy Stone, okay. We good. Cindy Stone. Remember to take it off then. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this... In this case, Cinder Block. Cindy... Cindy Stone. I know this one well. The victim's name is Cindy Stone. Yes, correct. I feel smart. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? Too much thinking. Her head was bleeding. Um, hit with a blunt object, I guess. I guess. Yes, correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. <laughs> well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Payne. <laughs> Mr. Payne. Spam without the S. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was this statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. Oh, I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Statue added to the court's record. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during this trial, okay? E that evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. All right. You stop to check the court's record frequently. All right. Pam. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. 
The persecution calls the deaf and numb, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention, you don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case, okay? You'll get your chance to respond to the persecution later, so be ready! Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad! Larry, control yourself. <laughs> he had a tick on his eye. Ahem! Mr. Butts! Is it true... Is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy! We were great together! We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony! Who's Mark Anthony? Anthony. Um, didn't they all die? <laughs> I wasn't dumped! She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me, ever. What is it to you, anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean as dumped. <laughs> In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men! Pain! <laughs> Control yourself. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, on of one of them? Lies! All of it lies! I don't believe a word of it! Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on 7.30 the day before the murder. Okay. Mm, indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Mm. Daddies? Sugar? <laughs> yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman is Miss Blech, this Mr. Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer the question. <laughs> Let's stop him. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? Uh, okay, let's stop him from answering. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oof. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she dog. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, I would I meet her. What? I'm going to get it to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? What did he say? What did he say? I believe the accused, accused's motif is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Ooh. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did, or maybe I didn't. That's a horrible way to answer to this. <laughs> he went. What do I do? Uh... What should I do? Should I let him speak? Should I let him speak? Okay, I'll let him speak. I know, I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth! Uh, yeah, yeah, I was there, I went! <laughs> Order! Well, Mr. Butts? Dude, chill! <laughs> Saying that to a judge. She wasn't home, man, so like, I didn't see her. <laughs> Your honor, the defendant is lying! Why are you lying? Lying? 
The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found victim's body. Who's that? Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the deaf and then fleeing the scene of the crime. Blah, 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 blah. Order! Order in the court! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. <laughs> Why am I doing everything wrong? <laughs> On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sahuit to the stand. Mr. Frank Sandwich. Mr. Sahuit, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh, oh yes, newspapers, yes! Mr. Sawit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony, okay. Witness account. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he, leave, he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there. A woman, not moving! Zeh! I quelled in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the definite sitting right over there. Hmm. A little bit sus. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? Stupid Larry. I can't defend you against this testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Hmm. Such a coincidence, huh? Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your... Per is per usual. Per usual? Per usual? Look out your court, add it to the court, your court. Okay. From noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes! Oh, uh, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross examination. C cross examination, Your Honor? What's that? He was, he's like, what's that? All right, right, that is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm wondering right now. Why, you exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave? Lies? What, he was lying? Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lies in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence, okay? Time to think. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. Check your court record. Okay, there is bound to be a contradiction in there, okay? Okay. Report because of the loss of blood due to blunt trauma. 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. The thinker, the victim bird will arrive home from Paris the day before the murder. Mm. Mm. Think, little think. Time of death, yes, I saw it, but. From 4 pm to 5 pm. But this is from noon to 6 pm. So the electricity was gone. Oh, witness said 1 pm? Profiles.
Where can I see that? I didn't remember that. Okay, first... Find contradiction between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradiction... Contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um... Okay. Open the court records with tap. Then find out contradictions in the testimony. Okay. Fine. Cross examination. I was going door to door seeing subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. Okay. No hurry because he left. Okay. Alright, man, I saw an environment was not moving death. Immediately. Wasn't working. Okay. <gasps> 1 p.m. Are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Mmm. He seems really confident. 1 p.m.? Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. Fine. Oh, da 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 da. This. Objection! You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the up autopsy report. Hmm. Hmm, he can't argue about that. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to... Uh, nobody to find at 1 p.m. Badooms. How do you explain this three-hour gap? Oh, that! Oh, uh, um... Objection! This is trivial! The witness merely forgot the time! That's not trivial. After his testimony, I find it hard to believe. I know, right? Mr. Sawit. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I... Uh... Well, I... Uh, that's really a good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot! Great job, Rita! That's all you have to do. To point out contradictions, okay? Lies always baguettes more lies. Baguettes. <laughs> Did I say baguettes? Budget? <laughs> How do I read that? <laughs> baguettes. Lies always baguettes more lies. <laughs> Season 1 and their whole story falls apart. Okay. Wait, I remember now! Sure. Would you care to give your testimony again? The time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Ah, oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. Mmm... That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Hmm. Hmm. Very sus. Hmm. I see. You heard the voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you might cross examine, examine the witness. Okay. Very sus. Right! You know what to do. I know what to do! I've got this one. I hear the time. Okay. Of course! There was a blackout! He couldn't have heard the TV. Yes, this. Ah, big brain reader! There was a voice saying the time. Program of no, objection! Big objection! Uh. Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? What the fuck? <laughs> it couldn't be a radio either. 
I guess it might have been from a, a radio. Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. There was only one large television. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but something a about this seems fishy. Something about hearing the television. Yes. The witness has testified. He heard the time. It was in... Oh... Uh... Peace. Hold it right there! The prosecution has said three ways... Ah, there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. Yes, exactly. I remember that. And this record proves it. <gasps> Bam! You couldn't have heard the television or a video. Gah! I... Well... Ugh. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawet? No, I... I find it quite puzzling myself, quite. Mm. Ah, wait, I remember now. Yes, sure, of course you do, Mr. Sawet. Hmm. The court would prefer to hear the inaccurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are, harm are harming your credibility. Yeah, they do. That and you seem rather distraught. <laughs> my, my apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Yes, of course. Very well, Mr. Sawet. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Here in the time. Actually, the corpse was speaking! <laughs> Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it! That's a very bad lie, I saw it. You're nervous. There was a table clock in the apartment. Wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. The, vic the, vi the victim. That must have been what I saw. Yes, yeah, sure. Sure you did. What clock? You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Sure. What do we have here? Hmm... Not sure about this one yet. Yeah, the weapon is not a clock. Did he say the weapon is a clock? He said the weapon is a clock? Ah! No, it isn't! What the fuck? Objection! Objection. Wait just a moment. That should be a murder weapon. That's... He's lying very bad right now. The murder weapon wasn't the clock, it was the statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? <laughs> what the fuck? What? You, you with your objections and your evidence? Just who do you think you are? I'm just a bit smarter than you. Just answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock, what the fuck? Is it? Well, it had like something... Something like looked like a like a digital clock on the bottom. It could be. Your honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne? Yeah, you see this thing? It could be a clock. Maybe it was. As the witness states, this statue is indeed a clock. It is, right? Next is the neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Oh? Huh? Is it? I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? Um, 
yes. <laughs> Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was the club is to hold it in his hand. Oh, shocking. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... ...went into the apartment. You're lying! You were inside the apartment from the day of the murder! Oh yeah? Prove it! Prove I went in there! I'll do better than that. I can prove you where... ...where the one... You were the one who killed her! You were the one who killed her. You struck her with a clock. And the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice! <gasps> that was the sound you heard. Blah, 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 blah. Order in the court! Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawit. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. Because you're the killer! That's why you were so certain about the time. His voice. What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture, it's not baseless. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face! <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I... I... That, that day... I... I never... Look! I... The clock! I heard... No! I saw... I mean... Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I hate ya! <laughs> he hates me so much he lost his hair! It was him, I tell you! I saw... He's just born. Born! Give him death! Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> order! Order in the court, they say! Your Honor, a, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright, Your Honor. You claim the sound the witness heard f came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Y Your Honor, the sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Uh, try sounding the clock, maybe? Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. Beep. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25! Three hours. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow! Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit. <laughs> He's panicking so bad, trying to talk your way out of this one! You forgot one thing! Ugh. What's he talking about now? Well, it may seem like it, that clock is running three hours slow. We are just living in a different time! <laughs> it proves nothing. It does prove everything. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. 
He's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it. I was so close. Mr. Right? <laughs> so much pressure on Mr. Right. It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the cross examination of Mr. Frank Sowett. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens! You treat me like a criminal! A criminal! You're a criminal. <laughs> you lawyers are all slime. Slime? I almost had him. We got him! Let's go, Phoenix. We can do this. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. No! There's nothing I can do about it now. There should be something! Not so fast, Mr. Sowit! Bow, bow, bow! Mia! I mean, Chef! Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away! Not like this! Think! But, Chief, it's over! I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder! Nobody can prove that! Um, well, yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you can still win! Try thinking out of the box! Don't waste time doubting the facts! Assume the clock was three hours slow and... Think through it! The evidence is... is what the... What... What the... How he was called. What the killer said. He said he heard the clock. He mentioned the clock several times. Why was the clock three hours slow? Was it because of the blackout? I think it's the blackout. You must have evidence. Somewhere that can prove it right. Why not let them have it? Well, Mr. Right, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There's a piece of evidence in the court's record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words! Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see the evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. I think... I think it is this thing. This proves your claim. How? I can't see what that evidence has to do with the clock. What? Ah, oh, it wasn't. I felt like if the electronic stuff was was misfunctioning because of, because of the blackout. Okay, let's sing. It's a battery clock. Okay. Maybe this? Dominina, don't call me dummy! I just made a mistake! I'm not dummy! I think it's this. She wasn't home. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast. Hmm. I didn't think she took the clock with her though. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. Makes sense though. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sowet? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Mr. Killer. <laughs> Certainly the reaction. Oh, order! Order, I say! Well. 
This case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? He... uh... He was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. Why am I a bit brave? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but... This court finds... The defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty! Good job, Lina! Big brain! We did it! And with that, this court is abjured. This is first case, very easy. I did it though! It turns out that Frank Salvage was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day... Oh, the backstory. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sowet let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sowet grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. F. Rest in peace. August 3, 2 p.m. District Court. Defendant lobby number 2. Phew! I still can't believe we won! Right! Good job in there! Congratulations! Th thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. For her motivational talk. Not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. <laughs> That's right. My life is over, why? Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. What's wrong? Cause wait, though. I mean, bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The, ca the case is closed. Oh, but my Cindy, the wind is gone, man. Gone forever. Oh, poor, poor, poor butts. Larry, she was, uh, uh never mind. Congratulations, Harry! H Harry? Yes, you! I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. Wasn't he Larry? Uh, um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate dinner, movie, my trip! Why Harry? Oh, no, I couldn't. Harry, Harry, unlike the killer, Harry Butts. <laughs> hey, I was the one who got you off the of the hook. Ah, uh, hey, here, take this. It's a present. I'm not sure I want that. A present for me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that actually I made this clock for her? I made one for her and one for me. R really? You? You made this? It's a sculpture. Well, thank you. I'll keep it. I'll keep it as a memento. You, Nick. Can you believe it? I was signed to that chick, and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you wanna just cry, Larry? Are you so sure? Squeeze me! <laughs> I think she thought quite a lot of you, in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me, it's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh yeah, right! 
What the heck is she talking about? Uh 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 uh. The statue. She kept it. Take that! Take that! Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump. To her. Huh? What's about the clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm, I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Good ending! Larry's not in jail, right? I hope you see some importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People too. We never really know if our, tr our clients are guilty or innocent. That's interesting. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me? We will have dinner on her? That sounds a bit explicit. <coughs> We'll drink a toast to toast to innocent buds. Yeah! Oh, speaking of Harry. Why Harry? He's Larry! You were, sh you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah. Part at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? And so, my first trial come to a close. Larry slaps me on the back and says, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. <laughs> unless you count the clock he gave me. A... Well, it's the first case. It's okay if he doesn't pay us, right? We're just learning. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. Huh. I may promise to tell the chief about me and Larry. Would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Hmm. The end. What's gonna happen next time? Now I'm intrigued. Okay. Should we start this way? Second trial. Let's do the second trial. Now the real fun begins. Now I want to do it. Okay, let's do the second one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I might... Tutorial over. It was a tutorial. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, I might twist my, my tongue a bit. Reading English. Blah, 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 blah. But let's go. Let's do this. Save your progress. Sure. Need a brain on the work! Let's go. Do you like the game so far? Yes, I like it. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued what is going to happen next because, yeah, this one was quite easy. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia. Oh, Maya. <laughs> Her name is pronounced Maya as well. Maya and Maya. <laughs> I've been ho I've been calling her Mia. I'll keep calling her Mia. What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. Have you been? Well, lonely. And all is your fault. She's her little sister. Mia and Maya. Yeah. Mia and Maya. I think your pronunciation correct. Okay. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Eventually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. 
I know, I know. You want me to hold the evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like a statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. No, no. You know I'm only teasing. I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Hmm? It's not working? That's lame. <laughs> a lame toy. I had to take the clock work out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Ooh. Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight? Say never and uh, uh, say nine to pick it up? Nine PM? I'll be in pretrial meeting meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers! I like burgers too! Should I order burgers for dinner? I know I had McDonald's very recently, but now I want burgers. Really go for a good burger. Ah! My mouth is drooling. Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual joint. Alright. It's a deal. I love burgers now. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded, September 5, 9 a.m. <laughs> no more Primo gems on hair, no! Primo gems on hair, my, my, my Primo gem hairpins are for Genshin streams. I will wear them next time I'll stream Genshin. That could be next week. <laughs> September 5. Okay. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take that spine, the papers. I'll take what's mine. Okay. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I ha what I don't have. Miss Faye. You are a poor liar. Why? I see it right over there. That must be the thinker. That swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ha <laughs> ha. You are not cogniferous of my background? Cogniferous means aware. Cogniferous? Cogniferous? <laughs> Did you know that word? Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Oh, ho. My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. It's not a real word, really? Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. What? 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 Ah! That was Maya? Mia's sister? Red, white, blue. That was Maya? That was Mia. No, that was Maya. That was Mia? That was Mia? My friend Mia? I'm late. Oh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without me. No, the chief! She said her sister was coming over, so we, we should all go out for dinner. That was your boss. Oh my god. We are starting hard. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. What? She's dead in her office. Oh my god. Um. Um. Not sure what should I do. Yeah, maybe move. That smell. Blood. Someone's there. Chief? Chief? Oh. Who are 
you. What? Oh, the strange girl dropped out. Cold. I I thought he she kicked me. I thought she hit me with something. I left her lying on the office sofa. Okay. She just vaporized. <laughs> I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I was when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. My boss! Chief! Mm. Uh, move. Let's not doubt it. That girl just now. Where did she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Well, I hope she didn't run... On me. Yikes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? <laughs> examine? <laughs> How do I examine her? That's... That's kind of like an assault, so I think I shouldn't. <laughs> Talk. Uh, what happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me? Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis... Sis... Oh, no, dad! So she was already dead. You're on the shift. So you're the shift's sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting this late at night? Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it was the clock. It was the thinker. Okay. Uh, present? No. Let's not. <laughs> I feel bad examining her. Present the. the ins okay. Let's do this. Let's present the badge. I've never seen that before. Okay, she doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't care. Um. Um. Should I examine? <laughs> Alright, if you say so. Ah, no, it's not her. It's examining this. But there's nothing to examine. Options? No. There's nothing to do here. Let's move. Um, okay, let's examine. Right! I'd better call the police! That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please come quick! What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? <laughs> oh my god! Oh fuck! She's staring right at me! Oh no! We should have moved! Why do I ever examine? <laughs> ah! Why did I listen to your chat? You told me to examine! Big. Um, big indeed. <laughs> She's holding a phone in her hand. Examine her! <laughs> oh fuck, what do I do now? Escape! <laughs> Not a good idea. Not close here. Surprisingly, the shift was never good with machines. About all she used, this PC was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. Alright, read your book, everything is written in your little small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Okay, alright, let's move from here. Ooh. We are in trouble! 
Ask if she's single, it's entirely the case. I don't think it is. Move. Um. Okay, what do we have to do now? Let's examine... The reception desk. I usually sit here. Alright. The sofa. Slightly open. We better not touch. Yeah, we better not touch this. Okay. No clothes here. I have nothing to say. I have nothing to show her. No clothes here. No clothes here. Okay, let's move to the office again. We can move this, right? Or can we? No, we can't. What else can we check? The shift chair. Chair. A simple functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. No clothes here. No clothes here. All the chief's important de documents are packed in here. This is where she filled her case records and recent rulings. Alright. Trash. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, what should we check? Can you move the screen and check the body? I was trying to do that. But I think I can't. Ah, yes! Okay, I can do that with Q and E. Okay, nice. Shift. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there's any clues here... She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She's probably... she probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The murder weapon. Once again, the murder weapon looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock. Made by Larry Butts. I know it's not the same clock. But it's again the thinker clock. Okay. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Glass shards, a broken remains of a glass light stand, broken beyond all recognition. Alright. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Oh! Maya! It was Maya! <laughs> a word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya? Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store, dated yesterday. Wait a second. Maya. Was Mia trying to tell us something about the girl? It was Maya! <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> I think I'd better show her this receipt. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. All right. All right. How ironic that this became the murder weapon again, I know, right? Mm, nothing else to check, right? Okay. Let's get back. Move. Alright, talk. Okay, let's present... ...this to her. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. That's creepy, actually. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. That's my name! Why? Why won't you write my name? Please, just calm down. Why won't sis write my name? Now I've done it. Wee wah, wee wah. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. They're coming for me and for Maya. 
We're both suspicious now. Police? He's thick. All right. Gum. Oh my god. I read his name wrong. <laughs> gum show. Gum show. Okay, gum show. All right. I'm detective. The gum shows. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, bye. Oh my god, that name. <laughs> gum show. What an old name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Oh my god, it must have been this that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving on inch, okay? Okay, gum show. Great, just great. Maya, wait, she wouldn't have nah. Excuse me! <coughs> this word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, Dad, that's my name. What? Chill, Gabusho! <laughs> the victim drew this here note in her own blood. In her own blood. See? With her dying breath? She wrote down the killer's name. No, that's too easy. That would be too easy. Killer? I'm not. Cla Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Poor Maya. Case closed. <laughs> we finished here. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Detention center. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um... Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um... It's up to you. I want you to choose. I'd better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should deci deci decide. After all... You're the one in trouble here. They're never going to believe me, are they? Oh, poor Maya. Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? Did I look? <coughs> Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. I it's okay, I understand. And I also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Oh, she talked about us? Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ah, so... He crashed and burned? He's a genius. Mm, I'm a genius! Big Bandita! Rita Wright. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Yeah, exactly. We have the wits. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. And she gets into trouble right away. But maybe I, I need an attorney as well. Though we have Maya as a, like, for a testimony. Like, she knows it wasn't us. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Given three more years. 
That is, unless you want to be found guilty of fuck. <laughs> we were not recommended. <laughs> That's what she said. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she realized what she just told me. I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> ah, it's okay, it's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... Neike, doing my bit to raise funds for Maya's trial. Please be her defense. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Please be her defense attorney. Thank you, Neike. Oh my god. Thank you for the tip. Nice tip. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's do this well. Let's do this well. We have to protect Maya at all costs. I know. Alright, let's talk to her. The day of the crime. Could you tell me more about the day of the murder? Yes, let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold onto a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, the clock shaped like a th like the finger. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right, she said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Oh, right, the call was recorded. That's nice, that's nice. Her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on, the on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Nice, your cell phone. Show me. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, I was asking for it. <laughs> I'm making efforts to, to read his name right. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo added to the court's record. Okay. Maya. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Yeah, it's a little... Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform. You could say acolytes? What's an acolyte? What's the wrong pronunciation again? What's an acolyte? What's an acolyte? Junior Prius. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm, acolyte. Like people in religious training? What is it? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. Just some rituals. <laughs> I'm a spirit medium in training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Exactly my thoughts. Thank you for saying it. The day of the crime. Could you tell, tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a cell call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It's practically... It practically qualifies as a serial murder by now. <laughs> yeah. The thinker is the real murderer here. The serial killer. So then, when did you arrive... Arrive... Uh, sorry. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. The more I think about the thinker, the more I get a headache. Uh, I think you shouldn't think about the thinker because you, you could die just like the first victim. <laughs> we all know she died of over overthinking. <laughs> That's why her head was bleeding. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear from now. Alright. 
Spirit mediums. So, you're an acolyte. An medium in training. That's right. The Faye family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Faye family? So, Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I had no idea. Hmm... Wait... What? So, you're a real... Honest-to-goodness spirit medium? With ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact me a spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her! Just as easy! <laughs> Phoenix, I think that was very... A very disrespectful thing to say to her sister. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah! Rim Penrose raided! Hello, Rim Penrose viewers! We're playing Phoenix Wright right now. It's the second case. The first one after the tutorial. Hello, hello! Rim Raid! How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Mia just got killed. And we are on the case. I'm sorry, I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. She can't contact her sister's spirit. Mm, I thought that would be too easy. Yeah. Um, oh, well, something the matter? I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this long time ago, so she doesn't want me to be her lawyer. <laughs> she rejected me! I feel bad. Are you winning it? I think I'm not because she rejected me to be her lawyer. <laughs> she said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. <laughs> yes, you indeed are. Do you think you could get... You could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. <laughs> should I refuse? And say, I'm gonna be your lawyer. I don't care about your opinion even though I said I do. <laughs> Should I refuse? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think this is the kind of thing you should really do yourself. I feel fucking bad. <laughs> You're right. Something's wrong? Actually, I asked the police to contact him, and they tried calling a few times. Nobody could get a hold of him. They couldn't fi find him? I have, I have no one left to ask you have me in front of you! Maya, I'm a lawyer! Say, what about your parents? No, okay, don't worry. I'll go ask him for you. You will? Thank you so much! I'm just worried what will happen if I can't find him. They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. I'm an attorney! When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Alright. Uh -uh. Smell for the camera! You did chat, smell for the camera! <gasps> By the way! Stardust and Star Chats! Did you check my Twitter today? You should check my Twitter today because I, I retweeted an art that has us! A fun art with you and me! The Stardust, the Star Chats, and me! The art is beautiful! I have it as my banner on Twitter now because it's so pretty! I was so excited when I saw it! <laughs> so if you if you are on Twitter, please check it out because it's so pretty! It's you and me! <laughs> it's very cute, yes. Let's examine the policeman. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. A real pro, this guy. No close here. Okay, yeah, nothing here. Anything else? Move, let's move. 
September 6. The office is filled with police officers. It's cute! Do you see it? Do you see the art? But I don't see Star Chess, just Star Just! <laughs> yeah, joke, yeah. You see it, right? Star Chess is big there. Yeah, there it is, very, very cute. I loved it. I loved it so much. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime, Simple. Not just passing. I'm sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're the butts guy, aren't you? The butts guy. <laughs> no, no, Phoenix, right? How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Oh, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He wasn't the killer! He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... <laughs> Detective... Sued the shows? Sued shows? Detective Gumtree? <laughs> Detective Gumshow. Um, Go Show, wasn't it? Dick Gumshow. <laughs> I can't with this name. Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshow to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Be right there. You're her lawyer, right, Paul? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. He thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Of course I am. I will be. Let's talk to you. Let's talk about Mia. About Mr. Faye. Mr. <laughs> about Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, huh? No, don't you look at me like that, Paul. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Time of death. At 9 p.m. <laughs> Cause single blunt force trauma. Death was instantaneous. All right. Let's talk about Maya. About Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, Paul. But this is one trial you aren't going to win. What you mean? Why do you say that? The, t the city's put prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means. You've been a lawyer and all. Edgeworth? Who's Edgeworth? That's right, Paul. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, did you know him, won't you? Of course not. Who's that Edgelord? What? And you call yourself a lawyer, Paul? About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became the prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. He's a cold, hurtless machine who'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Hmm, interesting. There are rumors of, a, of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never ima imagined I'd be facing him so soon. All right. Examine. There's nothing to examine here. Legal books. Legal books. Of Mia's desk. Perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing Mia. I can I call? Or check the phone? No, I can't. All right. Oh, da, 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 da. Should we present anything to him? I think we don't need to do that. Let's move. Grossberg Law Office. September 6. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. 
She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Let's examine this. Let's check this out. Mahogany? What's mahogany? Ma mahogany? Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. What's that? Green ball? Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've been ever read. Ha ha ha, just like my bookshelf. <laughs> Necklace here. Table for clients. An elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here, yeah. The old paint is so thick, it's practically giving me a scuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Alright. Anything else we can check? A kind of expensive wood? Yeah, I thought the same thing. Mahogany! The wood's been polished to a deep luster. I think nothing else to check here. Hmm. Hey! What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. How do I call him? I saw a phone. I saw a phone in the other room. Can I talk to the policeman? Your family? What about your family? I only had my sister. Oh. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. So she could still be alive? Your mother? <laughs> I'm torturing the poor girl with questions. The, one, the women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in, their, in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an accident. Ah, incident. There was a man and he... He, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Oh my god. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Hmm... So you live by yourself? I feel like everything is connected here. Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also... I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her. I'll buy herself up on that mountain. Your mother's enemy. So, who was this man who um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try co to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Oh... The police's consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But... A man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud. And the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. She was guilty, right? Excuse me, White? That was his name, my sister told me. White. The Edgelord? Was it the Edgelord? <laughs> That's why the man was proven innocent when he actually wasn't. Alright, let's move. <sighs> Any 
Edgeworth. <laughs> Present. Let's present him this and ask if we can if we can do a call. I was wondering, did you see my uh, face cell phone? Oh, that I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, Paul. Tricky lawyer. I need to check the recording. Tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh no, it's just... You know, detective. No, I know nothing, Paul. The cell phone has a lot of numbers on it. I like... Like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all... A li all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Hmm. Uh, you're trying to confuse me? Sorry, Paul. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. You're quite the stalker. <laughs> Oh, here, you can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. He's stupid. Okay, nice, we have the phone. Okay, nice. Guess I've asked all the questions I needed to. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on taking or talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, Paul. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. Oh my god. The witness. The witness. <laughs> yeah, Miss April May. The names in this game. I'm sorry about this. But I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? <laughs> you just doxed her. So you've sent her home already then? You're trying your laurel tricks on me now. I don't even have to do that. She's not she's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hot hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get detective to leak information. You got the right, Paul. Time to pay a visit to Mr. <laughs> to Miss May. <laughs> let's go. Okay, but first, let's give the cell phone to the girl. Maybe can we do that? I just want her to be able to talk. To the lawyer. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya cycles, eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. So, oh, poor girl. Thank you. Okay. Let's go to the hotel and meet Miss May. <laughs> Why the pose? Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth ride, real smooth. You're the lawyer, ain't you? The detective told me. He say, don't say nothing to the lawyer, Paul, did he? Me to sell. Thank Detective Gumshow for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. <laughs> okay, what's this? There's a screwdriver struck in, in this drawer. That's a little bit sus. Because you remember what happened to the phone in the office of Mia, right? I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Not touching! <laughs> She's creepy. Oh, bad boy! You really 
shouldn't pray around in, in other people's rooms now? That was very creepy! You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. She's guilty! I already know it. She's guilty. Case closed. Let's talk to you. What's your witness? Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, I observed you! <laughs> Observe incident, you sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. <laughs> you know that thing that took her um happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please? Let me see. Um well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Miss May. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer. Are you hinting on me? N no. <laughs> I'm just doing my job here. Tihi? You know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what is it you do? What is you do? Well, now, Tihi, <laughs> and you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. This room. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation! You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Oh, boy. All right, let's... Can we... Can we? The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fay and Call Law Offices building... All right. I think it will be a little difficult to recognize a face from this dif distance. So she didn't recognize me, did she? A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye catching here. The flowers are fake. I know some flowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my flower knowledge. These are roses, I think. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I think I shouldn't present anything to her. We can leave. Can we leave? Yes. Nothing to do here right now. Let's check Maya. We can check the call. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And here? Seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Ahem! If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the road I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, oh, so you're the one that Say has been looking for me? Oh, uh, yes, that's me. That's me. Looks even grander than I imagined. He's sick for sure. Hmm? That badge on your collar? Oh, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. 
And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? Did you come to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. So impatient. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Oh, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. That's a strange reaction. It's really quite busy here, son. Didn't you say you weren't busy at all? That you had nothing to do? I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh -huh. Ahem. Anyway. I'm afraid it, it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Alright. Examine his fake mustache. <gasps> it's fake? Just as the hair of the previous killer? You are the killer! <laughs> Your mustache is fake, so you are the killer! <laughs> Grossberg. <laughs> Such a gross name. Such a present present anything to him. Mm -mm -mm, I wonder. Now there's nothing. <laughs> His breast sure is big. <laughs> I'm not looking at that. Should I examine anything? Okay, I, I examined that already. I can talk to him. Your refusal. How can you just refuse like that? Please tell me why you won't take the case. Mm, uh, uh -huh. Well, you see, it's just... I'm busy, you see. You weren't busy just a moment ago. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. Hmm. Uh -huh. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look any elsewhere. Th think not. Huh? Did you say something? Ah, I'm gonna get killed! <laughs> I think not, I said. Ah! I'm gonna get killed by this sheer fake mustache. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth that their salt will take on their po on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing t more to discuss with you. What's going on here? Mia. Hi, Rita. I'm you here. Hello, hello. Did you play as attorney? Well, playing as attorney. This is the second case. How did you know Mia Faye? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. Mission. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with burning passion. Never looked back to that one. That painting. That's quite a painting. Haha, <laughs> you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at, at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I didn't want to buy it. It's not for sale. Okay, okay. I'm not buying. <laughs> hmm. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 Okay. We talked to you, so we can move. 
Let's go to the detention center to give Maya the good news! I'm gonna be his lawyer! Uh, I'm gonna be her lawyer! Let's go! Hiya! Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Oh, uh, well... How do I tell her? Well, see... I... I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and... <laughs> he was all skin and bones! <laughs> what really happened? <laughs> you don't mean he refused to help? He literally refused to help. I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Defend Maya? Of course we're gonna defend Maya! I've made up my mind! I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not! Why? Why? Well... Someone else is the culprit. I don't know why. I can't abandon you! No one is as sad as a person without any friends and without a sister and without a father and without a mother. Poor Maya. We should help her. I know. I've been there a long time ago. Oh, flashbacks. Why did they become a lawyer in the first place? Like story of Phoenix. Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. Let's save Maya. That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Oh, she smelled. She smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person, different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes! <laughs> and I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what's next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that, w that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. I know what's that. I know what, what she used. And I know what she used that for. Okay. Let's move to the hotel then. Oh. No, no, no. Let's move to the hotel. Yes. Bellboy. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment. At your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to a delivery room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May may be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Time to check everything. Wait, no! Hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Of course! That's the first thing I thought. Oh, I almost forgot. You come back so quickly! Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? Mr. White. Yes, I remember that. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and the Amaya's mother! <gasps> that guy? Could it be a coincidence? It is not a coincidence. There's a screwdriver. Now's my chance to see what's inside! 
What do we have here? A wire tap? That would... What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Found in Miss May's hotel room. Wire tap. Super suspicious. There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Yeah, of course it is. Why would she have something like this in her other room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using these bits of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean... <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I'll get to this woman's bottom. <laughs> oh, bellboy? Still there? Uh-oh. It's time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court! To be continued. Save in. Yes, of course. September 7. 10 a.m. I'll have a little bit of, ju of juice. I have apple juice here. Natural apple juice. So yum. Energies. Hydration check. <laughs> Maybe you heard my stomach doing brrrr. <laughs> I have to get dinner. Okay. Let's go. We're in trial. Let's do this one. I am hungry, but I want to do this trial. Is it long? Did you play it? Is it long? One hour or so? Kurt is now in session with the trial of Miss Faye, Ma Maya Faye. One hour? You can make a break if you want. Mm. It's not too long if you do it quick. There are save points every 30 to 60 minutes. Longer in the hardest cases. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I have... I have a cereal bar here. Banana chocolate cereal bar. We got this. The persecution is ready, your honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mal's Edge Lord, I mean Edgeworth. I'd better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll beat me on an in ah, oh, or he be he'll be on me in an instant. Okay, Mr. Edgeworth, please give the courts your opening statement. Ooh, I saw this one. I saw this one in Google Im Images. Thank you, Mr. Honor. The defendant, Mr. Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution was evidence she committed this murder. Has evidence, okay. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no, no reason to dub the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor, the prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshow. Let's go, Detective Gumshow. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name's Dick Gumshow, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicide, homicides. Down at the prison, sir. Detective Gumshell. Please describe for us the details of this murder. 
Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object here. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hands, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. Okay. Now, detective. Yes, sir? You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had heard evidence she did. She did it, sir. Hmm, Detective Gumshow. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Okay. Time to give attention to this. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Ah, oh, I think I need a bit more energies for this. I need glucose from my brain! Sugar for my brain to work! Now the game begins. I'm hyped. What you eating? I'm, I'm having a cereal bar. Chocolate and banana flavored. ASMR. <laughs> Do you hear it? <laughs> Crunchy. And a bit of cheese. Okay. My brain is ready. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Mr. M Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm, the very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh! Smack! <laughs> hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots, lots of times. Works lots of times. I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister tricks. Hmm. Mia helping us with with her with her murder, with her case. Alright, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross examination. Okay. Who did you say you got a call from? Hey pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer from a gateway hotel. Right across from the crime scene. Hmm, okay. I pressed. Not sure I did much though. <laughs> right, please continue. Two people are in the defendant. That is true. Ah, uh, that is true. But... Why is that? What's your reason? 
Why? We had a witness account describing her. So what? The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hold on just one second. I yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did, right? What's the evidence, huh? Hmm, gumshell? Hmm, dick gumshell? Did, did I say that? Me? <laughs> I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. <laughs> exactly what about the suspicion woman in pink's claim was hard evidence? Yeah, what was it? W what? Miss May isn't suspicious. And she sure isn't pink, Paul. She is pink. Lies and lies. Well, I guess she is pink. Yeah, she is. <laughs> That's enough. Detective Gumshow. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, detective? Um, nope. Hmm, I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes! Ugh. Sorry, I got the order of the m things mixed up in my testimony, your honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about, about first, your honor. Very well, detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Hard evidence. After securing the suspect, I exam examined the... Is it examined or examined? 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 The scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. All oh, right. Exam, exa, examia, examined, examined, examined. Yes, examined, right? Yes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the paper with, with Maya's name. I remember that. Yes. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results show that. The blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How you like that? That's my heart evidence. Mm, that's not evidence. Mean like meant rather than mine? For for what word? Ah. <laughs> I got lost. What did I? Ah! Before we begin cross examination, I have a question for you, detective. I mispronounce. I mispronounce. Mispronounce. Yes, mispronounce words very often. But yes, I look at chat for you to correct me. It's okay if you correct me. I, I learned from that. Examined. Exa examined. Examined. Okay. Your Honor. Why didn't you testify about this fatal... Vital. Vital, right? Vital piece of evidence the first time. <laughs> I know. I'm really embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense might begin its cross-examination. After securing the suspect, I examined... Exa... 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 Examined! Examined? It's examined? Examined. The scene of the crime with my own eyes. Yes, I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the body. What else do we have here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah? All right. That is true. Is that true? Oh, well, yeah. Probably. Uh-huh. No. That's not true. Detective Gumshow. 
do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name? Case 2? Yes, this is case 2! Sure, it happens all the time in books and the movies! We are speaking about actual cases, Gumshow. This isn't a movie, detective. It's a video game. <laughs> Oof. Let's talk about reality, shall we? Um, I guess I haven't heard of many cases, no? Don't you find it a little odd that the victims would write down a name? Especially the name of her own sister? Uh, yeah, actually, you've got a point, Paul. Stop it right there! The witness's opinion on the matter is relevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. That is true. The victim told us the name of the, her killer. That is not true. Order! Order! That didn't go so well. That's right. What he said. That's his whole testimony. His whole testimony. Okay. There has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it! Okay, after securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Yes. Mm. Maybe I should give this? No, no, not of this statement. After securing the suspect, I examined the, se the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Yeah, that is true. Hmm, focus, Rita. Yes, I'm trying to. Oh. Did they do a lab test? What kind? Oh, well. I had to take the um, little bits in the blood, the uh, emo, emo, go, emo goblins. <laughs> Um, Erma Goblin Boblin. <laughs> I refuse to testify on this matter, Paul. I'm an expert on blood test. <laughs> yeah, that was quite clear. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. I mean, you're on our sale. Sure. Detective Gumshow. Y yeah? I look forward to your next evaluation, as you showed you. That was a mess. Right, where was I? Emma Goblin. <laughs> it's Emma Globin, right? But is it pronounced like that? <laughs> Emma Goblin. <laughs> Hermetic Goblins. Also, there was... Okay. Before she died, the victim... That could not be true. Objection. Why? Why are you so sure it was the victim? Ah, but I, I spoke already to him about this. Yeah. We did this already. Maybe I have to present something from the tab. Yeah. I think you need to present evidence for this part. Yes, I was thinking about the same thing. Uh-huh. Do I have to present this? Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. It does? I don't see any con anything contradictory. Me neither. <laughs> really? <laughs> Objection overruled. Oh no, I'm dying. 
Mm. Yeah, that couldn't be it because I didn't see... Why it could be true. The autopsy said they died instantly. That's true, we have the autopsy. That is right, she didn't have time to write anything. That is what we have to present. We can present that. Thank ya! Yes. Detective Gumshow. There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fey. That's really what sh you're saying? W what? This isn't one of the slayer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have... You have it backwards, detective. B backwards The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. Exactly. But... No butt earring. Your way of this one, detective. Yeah, no Mr. Butts here. Oh yeah, oh yeah! The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down, duh! <laughs> Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly you, did you obtain that autopsy report? Autopsy report? W when? The day of the murder. The day after the murder. I forget. <laughs> I literally forgot. Um, where did we get it? The day after the murder? I said the day after the murder? Was it? The persecution's point being? No, no, no. That autopsy report is outdated, your honor. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. Almost immediate. But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor. It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. <laughs> That's all. I see! Damn you, Edgeworth! I should have known you had, you'd have something up in your sleeve. <laughs> Why, Mr. Wright, you look so shocked? Something you want to say? You're a sham, Edgeworth. What a sh what's a sham? The detective is a sham. I'm a sham. What's a sham? What's a sham? <laughs> what's a sham? A fake. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay. Shampoo. <laughs> I don't think it's shampoo in this case. <laughs> Probably fake. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's blame the detective. Detective Gumshow, you're a sham. How could you? Give me a faulty report. Huh? I, I thought... Detective Gumshow. Ooh. I'm disappointed in you. Handling him the wrong reports like that. Eh, I, I'm sorry, sir. You are at fault, detective. This isn't going to look good on your, on your evaluation next month. What? But... Uh. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. Died from a blow by a blunt object. Might have lived for a few minutes after being hit. Well, Your Honor... 
about the death and the death prosecution <laughs> than to bully Gumshow. Yes, he deserves to get bullied, honestly. The evidence strongly suggests that the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes? <laughs> Dad, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent? <laughs> yeah. Witness your name, please. April May, at your service. <laughs> Order! An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. <laughs> the witness will refrain from wanton winking. <laughs> winking. Oh, yes, Your Honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this culture. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the... Yes, yeah, September 5th, when the murder occurred. Occurred. Um, yeah, I was like in my hotel room, you hear? I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Skull Law offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. Alright, let's do this. It was like 9 at night. I looked out the window, you know? And then, wah, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting on the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she got up to her and, and, she killed her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of swamped. The end, that's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. Hmm. Well, Your Honor, I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see I need to trouble the witness any. <laughs> Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? <laughs> I thought the witness's testimony ju just now was quite firm, don't you? Didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Face understood you, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. H hey! How dare you! Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes, I'm doing it, of course! Let's be annoying. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. If only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. <laughs> She has to have some weakness. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Let's do this. It was like nine at night. What she said didn't make sense. Because she called when she saw me, not the girl. No, you didn't. But how do I prove that? <laughs> should we th should we show this already? <laughs> mm. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, the words up. Not yet. Um, the only thing I can do is to interrupt her, like this. The woman with long hair. 
That was me a fay. Mm-hmm. Slender, sort of. Well, some people might say pretty, if that's your thing. Your thing? I'm the person attacking her? The one attacking her was... That's not true! How do you know she was a defendant? Huh? Well, you know... She had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short, girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. He's right. Mm. Let's question this. Hold on a minute! That testimony stinks! That's my... <laughs> that's my proof. What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. You're lying. You did see something, but you're lying right now. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> oh my god, that creepy face. Mr. Wright, what th what's the meaning of this? Yes, what's the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. God, she's so fucking creepy. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. <laughs> Poor girl. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimonial is bogus. Among us? But, what? Still, we don't know if she was dressed the way the night of the murder. I do know. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshow. What do you say to that, Miss May? <laughs> Roar! <laughs> Kitty noises. What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I I saw I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the courts would like to remind you to please submit nothing in your testimony. <laughs> Shaking his her boobs. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. I did see everything! I did! My victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the night, to the right. Okay. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. The hippie clothes. And she hit with that weapon! I saw it! I did! That... that clock! Um... The kind of statue clock? The thinker, I think? Well... Does the accuracy of my report not... not to you? Hee <laughs> hee? I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. Did you? Hmm. Did you see? Did you see this? <laughs> you know, I'm making stuff up. Okay, I will say because I'm afraid. I'm afraid I will lose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the court. You kind of have to make stuff up. Hmm? 
No objection to that. <laughs> I did see everything. Did you? <laughs> so you saw me then too? Did you? Of course. I remember that spiky hair everywhere. Spiky. <laughs> the witness will refrain from personal attacks on the defense attorney. <laughs> Your body out and sewing. Very well, continue. Ran off to the right. Uh, 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 uh. Where was the stand? Can I check it? To the right, but that was in the left. That doesn't make sense. Okay, should I present the map? Yeah, the floor plans or this? I'll present this. It makes sense? What you mean it makes sense? Is it from the left? Hmm. I'll read that again. It was her right? But I thought she wasn't facing the window. It was right from her perspective. Okay, I understand. So what she is saying? Yes, how I'm. I'm thinking that clock. Yes. I don't think I have to present this already. Lita ain't really good at logic games, and she that's mean of you. I just don't get what it wants from me right now. Use the map. How would she know it was a clock? I did ask her already, didn't I? Oh no! 
Guilty! To be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. Let's continue. Mr. Lawyer, you can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. That clock. Yeah, how did she know it was a clock? But I'm not sure how to argue with that. It is a clock. I just don't know how she knows that. Miss May. I just said just now was quite revealing, yes. But it wasn't obvious that I should have used the clock because... Like, what she was saying was true, even though she wasn't supposed to know it. Really? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Naughty Mr. Lawyer. You just said... You just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. <sighs> there she goes again. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock too. And he was found guilty of murder. Order! Order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Ah. The witness saw the murder in her with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you might recall, I've caught ponderers with these questions before. Well, only once. <laughs> Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. That was Klaus. If you stop me there, the trial will be over. Huh? What? So what happens now? What happens now is you answer my, 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 <laughs> it's you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? How did you? What? The... It's... You guys... I heard it? Yes, I heard it. Say the time. So, you've been to the law offices of Fee and Co. Yeah, how did you hear it from so far? N no, hey, I didn't say that. Why would they go there? I heard it from my hotel room. Hehe. <laughs> the law offices of Fei and Ko, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. No, it's, it's very sus. Are you satisfied? I'm not. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because. It couldn't have rung? Yes, it couldn't have rung! Your Honor, members of the court. It is inconceivable that the clock in question rung. 
it's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork. I do remember that. Hey! Ah, oh, no. How could you possibly... Just take a look right now! Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Mr. Wright! Would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar! Fat? <laughs> That's the only thing she's concerned about. Well, Miss May? Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. Oh, what will you say? He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock was empty. As you say, it can ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. The clock may have been emptied after she heard it. Emptied by her! Because she has the battery from the clock. Yeah, the clockwork. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Absolutely. Ho ho, impossible, of course. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much! The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is... Look at this. Wiretap. Is, is it the wiretap, though? What do you say to that? What? <laughs> okay, that wasn't the wiretap. <laughs> okay, for some reason I think the wiretap was related to the clock. Okay, it is a z z z You call the evidence. What was the question again? Yes, with the clock. But the clock work was removed. Blunt object. Okay, I can present this, right? Take a look at this! Mmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Yeah, I remember it. I remember that we have the recorded conversation. Yeah, Maya and Mia talked about that. I remember it now. When I saw that I can enter and read the... Read the actual conversation. Uh-huh! You have a girly phone! <laughs> it's not my phone! Wait, wait, this is my phone. <laughs> Listen. This is the Defendant's cell phone and it contains a recording. 
A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order! Order! The defendant's cell phone? Th this wasn't a... This wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumsho overlooked it? <laughs> the good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. <laughs> Poor Dick Gumsho. Let's hear the conversation. Yeah, I remember it being removed that. Yes, 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 yes. To put the evidence. And now it is an evidence. Your Honor. I think this makes it, it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this, were, this was recorded. Which was well before the witness have even arrived at her hotel. Why? 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 Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know the weapon was a clock? <laughs> well... Well, isn't it obvious? I saw the clock before. Um, what store was it again? It wasn't bought! It was built by Larry! I go to so many... Liar! Big fat liar! Oops, I forgot! No, you didn't! You're a big fat liar! So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. But it doesn't in this case. Does the defense have any objections? Of course I do! The witness claims she had seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it! Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. Do you have the evidence though? <laughs> let's see. Do 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 do. Yes, made by Larry Butts. It's simple. This clock was never in any store ever. Exactly. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world, and the one that isn't here is in the police custody. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. <laughs> Miss May, I think it's high time y you went shopping for a better excuse. <laughs> oh, excuse is not on sale today? Ah? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Will she take off her wig? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she took off her bra. <laughs> What's it to you, Buscupid Head? Por porcupine! Porcupine! The, the animal? Porcupine! Porcupine Head! That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it! And she should die for it! Die! Whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves! This is a court of law! And the witness will remain calm. Silly me! <laughs> Did I, um, like, lose it? Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess I did. <laughs> Scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? <laughs> Your fucking faces. Hmm, oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth on the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... Hmm... You have heard about it. She had heard that it was a clock. Yeah, she heard it from the white guy, right? 
This is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. Because I don't know... I don't think she's a killer, is she? And I can show you the proof. Oh, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Wiretap. What's this? Where is this wiretap from? Mm -mm -mm. I think it has to be this. Have a look at this. Th that? Eh. I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Mr. April May, April May? You were tapping the victim. Miss Mia Faye's phone, were you not? Ugh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous! Does the defense truly claim that the witness was taping her phone? Absolutely! Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not! Oh yeah? I think I can! It's simple! What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Uh... Yeah. They talked about the clock. Yeah, they talked about the clock and how... and how... the clockwork wasn't inside anymore. It made sense. Miss April May. You used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous! Your Honor, your, bleh, your Honor, look at the witness's face! Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer! <laughs> witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer! <laughs> it's not fair! How are you getting you me like that? Oh, slam the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? Miss April May now. Now, to deal the final blow. Why the wiretap? I don't know if she did it, but why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a major trial? Isn't tippity tapping uh, irrelevant? She's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Yeah, that's very relevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? 
Could you prove that you had nothing to do with this merger, even though you you tapped her phone? It's taped? Tape. Taped, right? Ty taped. Ha, I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Liar, I saw that evil, evil green. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. <laughs> Boing! Boing! Well, you're not the first man who, who stole that. And of course, I can and will. You can be serious, no way. Why you say way? Oh, and I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Huh. <laughs> okay, so... The killing happens around 9 at night. Why, that's just when I was... Getting room service from that sweet bellboy. Room service? Ice coffee, I believe it was. Ice coffee? You know? Like normal coffee, but cold. American espresso cold with ice. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you have regular cold coffee. Ice coffee? Boing! <laughs> Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy! Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the merger. So, where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been taping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Faye, commit murder. No, they're going to let her just walk away. No, there's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Mm, well, uh, time to think. Of course, let's call him. Why not? There's something suspicious here and I'm going to get up to the bottom of this. I think you've sunken quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretaping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy. Then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, that she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty of Miss Maya Faye. Can he even do that on court? <laughs> this doesn't feel legal. If you're not right this time, then you're never right. And I am right, and you're wrong. This sounds childish. This is my condition. I don't agree to that condition. What the fuck? I'd better find something suspicious on the bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Mm. I wonder if, we sh if I should call him. Okay, let's call him. I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. The fucking case. <laughs> Understood. I accept your condition. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> Fool. You fell right into my trap. Uh oh. Uh, um, wait. <laughs> Very well. The court calls the auto bellboy to the stand. And I forgot to save before making the decision. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. 
He certainly does look like a bellboy. <laughs> Why does he have the tea and the pastries here with him in the... In the court? Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness might begin his testimony. Very good, sir. I am the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel in the business for four generations. And let's, let's save here, just in case. I believe I received a call after 8 in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for ice for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. The defense might begin the, its cross-examination. Mm. I'll have some jazz. Hydration check. Don't forget to drink water. Or juice. Or whatever you have. I have an apple juice here. Mm. 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 Okay. Right. I'm ready. I hope. <laughs> Able just for my brain to think better. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the merger now, Maya will be finished. Miss May's room service. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gates Water Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call. After 8 in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Hmm. What do we have here? Hmm. Yes. Yes. Request time. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Would you have any reason to lie? But I have to find something to use in his testimony. One more time, I'll press him until he spills the beans or his tea. Okay. That's probably true. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May impersonally, sir. Not only did I see her all her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them and I uh them? Um... Okay. Neko Minamiya, super chatted! Waka waka! Shao Minamiya, shao tadewa! Shakira moment? Did I get Shakira... Shakira rolled? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat! Them? <laughs> the booba. The point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? She asked for, no, for a nice coffee to be brought to her at 9 on the dot, sir. Let's press you! On the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. And the time of the murder. Uh-huh, let's press you again. <laughs> Precisely 9, then. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss Wei was quite insistent that it be brought then, and it's a bit sus that it, she was so insistent on that. Oh, Babel? Babel? Bellboy? Tihi? 
I would like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9 p.m. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the, at the crack of 9, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? That's my question. Mm, okay... Are you sure? Maybe you just put it on her door? You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing manneries of mine. How come you... How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir... She, the guest here, favored me with a... An embracer? Embracer? Is that French for embrace? Is a French for kiss, sir? But not a French kiss, sir! More of a peck on the cheek! Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me, yeah. I know. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. Yes, 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 that's exactly what I thought. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is that it? Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm, it was a bit tedious. The witness might leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? PROTEST! Yes? Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Objection. No! <laughs> Your Honor, I must object. No more questions. This carrot of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. Should I save here, just in case? This is really it now. This is my last chance. What do you ask him about? Check in. Tell me about check in. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, all right, very well, sir. My first thought was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl. So it was a disappointment, really. I see. Excuse me, what exactly was a disappointment? Well, I am not without charm, sir. But e even I'd have little chance with her lover there. I'd have little chance with her. What did he say? What did you say? Uh, rather quiet. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May chicken with another person? Objection. I object. That was objectionable. <laughs> Objection overruled. The witness will answer to the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Oh, yes, quite. Indeed. It was a uh, uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... <gasps> he asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Ho! Ho, ho! <laughs> Oof! <laughs> Very objectionable, huh? You fool. I've done it. I've won! Miss 
Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Oh, my fucking god. Hmm. Your honor. We have just learned of another person involved who might have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hope this it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple, it was... The man was with me. The man who checked in with Miss May. Oof. Your Honor. As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping... Yes, was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. Exactly. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Oof! <laughs> Upstart, amateur. These accusations are. Ludicrous? <laughs> Ludicrous? <laughs> he forgot words. Enough! <laughs> or do I just know the word? Don't know the word? <laughs> Does that word exist? <laughs> it doesn't, right? <laughs> the court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? It does exist? It does? It means absurd, ridiculous. <laughs> I I thought he was I thought he was saying ridiculous funny. <laughs> I thought he was saying ridiculous funny. Yes, yes, Your Honor. That is all today for for the trial of Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. Mmm. Mm. Okay. So we saved Maya, but we still don't know who was the murderer. D will we have another another trial for this? Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. That's good. I was just doing my job, you know? <laughs> then again. That other attorney was pretty cool, too. Come on! Huh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips! It sent shiver of my, sh of my spine! <laughs> oh, if you say so... So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Yeah! Mm, well, I guess. No, I don't think so, not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her chimes won't work everywhere. Yeah, not in trial, for sure. Ever, ever, her, her, ever her wings are not powerful enough here. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from close. That is true. We still don't know who's the killer. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis, don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. 
Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been taken from the record. My testimony added to the court record. May testimony. Dodge an attack, then run to the right. But she was caught and struck. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in the detention center. And it's up to me to set her free. Alright then! Wow, this is very interesting! This is very interesting! I think I will leave it here for now because we've been streaming for 3 hours already and I still have to, to get dinner. But this is very interesting. Ah! I'm thinking about doing a guerrilla stream this week now just because I want to continue this game. I will go to my... Ah! I need to get... Look at it all. Yes, maybe Tiam is here. Ah, are you liking the game? Did you play it? Did you play it before? Or is it the, your first time seeing it? Thank you for the stream. Thank you so much for watching. It's a very interesting game. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing a guerrilla stream just to continue this game this week, but my week is full. <laughs> so I have to think about that. My week is full for now. Yeah, I'm streaming every day. I'm streaming every day this week. Like full of it up. You enjoyed it? I'm happy about that. I'm happy you enjoyed it. Oh yeah. I already played it. You played it. I played the DS release many years ago. Yeah, that is many years ago for sure. I have a friend who really liked this game and she played the DS games as well. But she played it with the Spanish translation. And she was like, Oh, you absolutely have to play it with the DS Spanish translation because it's so good. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> I can stream it for you in Spanish, can I? <laughs> Still, the English puns were, well, were good, too. I'm liking this game. I'm liking this game a lot. <laughs> Mr. Butts. <laughs> How was it? Dick Gumsock? <laughs> no, Gumshot. <laughs> How was his name? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mean is the new Mr. Butts. Ah, Gumshoe. <laughs> it was Gumshoe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, <I'm so> <laughs> Close it up. <laughs> okay, so. What do I have tomorrow? Tomorrow we have the... Tomorrow we have the Japanese Duolingo, right? Yeah. Tomorrow Japanese Duolingo, right? Get ready. <laughs> For gum sock. <laughs> okay then. Thank you so much for watching. We'll continue this game. Once we go. Maybe next week. Yes. Maybe next Monday. I'll see. I'll see. So yes. I'll keep playing it. Next part. We'll see when. I'll notify you. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow!